We're giving away an Xbox Series S every 10k subs up to 100k. That's 10 consoles in total. To enter, just sub the channel and click the link in the description. Wow! Hype! Day Raiders! <laughs> G'day mates, happy hump day. Trump Monkey here, Raider Nation. We got one of the most awesome... We got so many awesome interviews happening this week. I'm focusing on Derek Carr though. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, man, he comes up after Josh Jacobs, but I got to tell you, this is why I love the dude. We'll get to it later. The interview started, though, with uh, Josh Jacobs, and um, as kind of expected, the media goes straight in on Drake, you know, and and uh, and uh, they first of all, they address him working out alone, and that's all part of the plan. As the Joker would say, it's all part of the plan. So completely part of the plan, and that was A-OK. -okay. comes in looking good super high on drake so as soon as booker who i was really high on as well the monday booker wasn't coming back apparently josh jacobs started lobbying to try and get drake in there i love that attitude man i i, I really really do um uh, they asked him about the o-line moves and he was just like the rest of us what's going on when they first started out you know and the o-line is kind of being dismantled he was a little bit worried like the rest of us but uh, but ultimately, kind of, he's already in love with them from what he's seen, uh, kind of at 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 training camp, and obviously played in Bama with Littlewood as well. So he he's completely taken by him and says he's gonna be he's gonna be awesome. And he's kind of off season workout routine. He spoke about that a little bit. Um, seemed to like really hint on flexibility and durability. Listen, we know he gets used as a battering ram. That's probably why he loves having Drake in there as well, man. A little bit more durability. That's something Derek Carr speaks about in his interview as well. But not worried at all about splitting, kind of receiving duties with Drake or even carrying duties. He is all about winning. And I love this team-first attitude that we have here. I really, like, in fairness to, to, to Mayock and Gruden, that's the team culture that they've built now. And I got to tell you, it's like, it's working nicely. So then Derek comes out, man, the star of the show. Look, the, the biggest takeaway from this interview, he, he said he'd more than likely retire than play anywhere else. Eternal Raider. This, I just want to touch on this for a second. Like, like some, I understand Raider Nation. A lot of people think maybe he was different after the injury, but he's so genuine. He's such a genuinely positive upstanding guy and that's why i love him and, and obviously we've all existed together in the last 20 years through like the nuclear holocaust the quarterback since rich gannon until Derek started playing i i love this guy i love his positive attitude i love that that kind of um uh, we're definitely cut from the same cloth he and i in terms he speaks about contract and you sign a contract that's your team and that that wants to be your team for life that kind of loyalty like a dog i'm, I'm here for it lads that's my quarterback I think Derek Carr is phenomenal. I think he's the leader of our team. Ride or die with Derek. He talks about, like, imagine winning a Super Bowl here. And that's, that's totally great. So, anyway, they ask him about moving into the rest of the interview. They ask him about John Brown. And he calls him Smoke. That's his nickname, which is great. Super impressed. Says he reminds him a lot of Nelly as well. So, like, smart, hard worker. But here's hoping that John Brown's going to step up and get that many touchdowns. Um, spoke about Drake's explosiveness as well. Like and that he's going to be a threat, uh, and not just Drake, but 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 really impressed with him and lots of weapons on O. I got the distinct vibe and feeling that like the offense is just going to get better and is looking really really nasty. And we know as well now that we've got a really competent backup in Mariota. So man, I don't want anything to happen to Derek. But if it does, we're not going to be left high and dry, which I love as well. So also very confident with the O line. Uh, you know, I'm trying to break down the interview into like a max five to ten minute video here with a half an hour worth of interviews really impressed with the o-line which I'm, I'm super happy with and they asked him about the defense and i'm going to be making a separate d, uh, d video probably focusing kind of a lot on on yannick and gokwe as well but he was really impressed with him he, he literally uses the words like you see some guys train and they're on a different level so and he called Max Crosby's breakout rookie season, by the way. He said Max Crosby might get, like, offensive rookie of the year in training camp. He said that before Max's rookie year. So Derek's got a good eye for talent. Rest assured, this is a this is a football player right here. And he said only 26 years old. Like, it's good for the Raiders. I love that, man. He says the whole D, and I quote, looks great. 
man, we only need the defense to be like top half of the league, matched with our offense, and we could be firing on all cylinders. So, man, I am super pumped. I, I can't tell you how much I love this guy's character. That's our quarter. That's my quarterback. <laughs> Man, I'm ride or die with Derek. I hope you are as well, guys. I think he's highly underrated. I think he's gonna be awesome. Look how long that interview goes for. We're gonna we're gonna break it down. And that that's it. Those are the the hot notes. I love it though. He'd rather retire than play anywhere else. Incredible. Then we also have Brian Edwards. So rounding out again, breaking it down super quick for you. Um, quietly confident chap, right? Like um, didn't really get to to show off too much in his rookie year. Because, you know, he had the injuries. Um, but he said he is fighting his stri uh, finding his stride, which is kind of important. And, and he just, like I said, quietly confident. I think he has a fantastic mental attitude as well. And I just want to leave you with this, Raider Nation. I've said it before in other videos, if you have been watching my Raider videos. Like, this might be a breakout year for him at wide receiver too. It's something I said all the way back when PFF first predicted. I had a video on PFF predicting our... Uh, our, our starters and they didn't have him there and and I honestly feel like it's going to be Ruggs Edwards and Renfro as our starting three wide receivers Renfro on the slot that's where he plays um yeah aggressive things we also saw the photo of him flexing we know he's a big lad we know he's got the skills to pay the bills um really really cool um and listen uh you know Derek sp spoke about uh you know Schneed reminding him of Crabtree loving John Brown didn't really necessarily speak about Edwards terribly much so like even even Edwards is going quietly under the radar in this whole presser but I'm expecting big things. Listen, thank you for watching, mates. I hope you're having a great one. Uh, we'll leave you with some great, uh, let me see. Probably leave you with some, some great Raider content up over there in that corner. Leave you with our IRL entire playlist, Raiders playlist right here. Thank you for watching. Sub, like, share, all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time, Raider Nation.